All right, so as you can see here, we have another new sled for the addition for the fleet. And uh, it's gonna be kind of a secret unveiling here. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but we just bought it last Sunday night and it's Sunday the week after. Sorry I didn't get a video sooner, but as you can tell, it is a Polaris, I know, but... So as you see there, this is, me and my dad are sharing it for this year. It's a 2004 Polaris Pro X 550 fan. And I bought it off my buddy. He had it f since it had 800 kilometers on it now. Well, it has 800. When he bought it, it was the, he was the third owner. So we're the fourth owner. And when he bought it, it had 800, kilo, 800 miles on it, and now it has, oh boy, this thing sucks for focus, but anyways, it has 1,701 miles on it, so as you can see there, 550 Pro X Polaris and uh, it has the 2015 trail pass on it. We have insurance on it now. We have it all in our name. The trail that go on the trails. I was just gonna go riding yesterday, but I didn't because my dad is not the biggest fan of me riding it because he's he he doesn't. He's the one that paid for it, and I told him that I'll buy it off him next summer, and he can go buy a brand new one like he wanted. So he doesn't want me to wreck it, so he doesn't really like me driving it that much. So I don't really get to drive it unless it's around our yard. But it has the needed hand wires, the key, tether, high-low beams, reverse. Yeah, you know, hand guards. It has hand guards. It has six inch riser. If that was factory. That's factory riser. The track is pretty good. But it's a really, really clean sled. And right here you can see just frost on the tank. I'll, I'll open the hood so you can see inside how clean it is. And it does have a choke, not a primer. But it starts so good. I'll start it up for you too here in a minute. Ooh. So there's the engine, twin carbs, oil injected, which needs some oil now that I look at that. Not that bad, but just needs some. It's a big stock exhaust. Big engine, not really big, but that's only rust on the whole thing, and that's just from he didn't cover it up the time he had it, so set out in all the elements. But the one crappy thing about this sled is it's a racing sled, all right? So it has all these extra supports like this bar and this in here. It's so when you hit a big jump, it doesn't cripple the frame in. So if you break your rewind, you have to pull the whole entire engine out to get the rewind off. And I'm not looking forward to that. I think me and my dad would try it ourselves. We would just loosen the motor mounts all up. There's one there, two there, and then you take the carbs off and there's another two there. I think I'd get a piece of wood under there and kind of pry it up just enough to pop that off and out. 
and then I think it'd be good. But no, but it's a really good sled. It has some balls, like it will rip. But uh, no, I'll I'll uh, shut the hood and uh, get everything ready for a start up, and then I'll start it up for you. All right, so that's a cold start. It was running yesterday, but it hasn't been. Last night it was minus 20 something. So, it's cold. Full choke. Key on. do that but since I'm making a video I had to shut it off normally when I let her start up I warm her up and take her for a rip because you're technically not supposed to do just start up and shut off it's kind of bad for them but since I'm doing a video I'll take her for a rip after I'm done my video but uh, no it's really good so I've uh, so far this year I has 288 miles on it that I put on it and my friend had it before me and I rode it when he owned it on the trails this was actually the first sled I like really felt comfortable on on the trails it rips but it's the funnest sled ever you just come into a corner like wide open don't even left the throttle and just turn and no ski lift like that ski doesn't come up when you're turning left the same with the other side it just stays flat and you can feel it like soak into the corners. It has a, it's kind of upside down, but Ride FX shocks, the racing shocks. But no, it's, it is sweet. And in case you're wondering how much we paid for it, we paid 3,000 bucks. And as you see, it came with that cover and, uh, and it came with a 2015 trail pass on it too, so. That's good. I, I'm happy with it. And next year, I'm going to pay, next summer, I'm going to pay my dad 3500 for it. Because that's what my dad has into it. Because we pay $300 year, dollars a year for insurance. And uh, I, I wasn't very much money to get the ownership changed over. But I still want to give him some profit on it. So 3500 is still worth it. So. Yeah, we always used to run the Plaris Gold in it, but apparently that oil is bad, apparently. I don't know. We always used it, and it's had it ever since brand new, and it's never gave us a problem, but apparently the Plaris Gold is not good, and the oil doesn't get up to the top of your piston. It only gets to the skirts, the bottom skirts of your piston. So wear out the top end, because the top top of the piston and the rings are not getting very much oil so apparently they our local dealer told us to switch to Plaris Blue and it's a synthetic blend with conventional oil and synthetic in it when the Plaris Gold is just uh, synthetic but I so if anybody's having a Plaris then uh, I would I guess you should switch to Plaris Blue it's fully mixable with the Plaris Gold but apparently, this guy's been working on engines a lot, and we know his, he knows his stuff, and he told us, he's the owner of the place, and he told us not to buy it, and he gave my dad a refund, and, and the Plaris Blue is cheaper, and even though this says use only Plaris Gold on the cap, he said that by 2,000 miles, if we kept on using that, it would blow up. 
So we're not sure if the damage is already done by it for using it that long. Or maybe we caught it just in time. But I know that it always ran perfect with the player's gold and I never noticed anything. So it's kind of just an opinion. We'll just do what the guy says to do. Because he knows his stuff like I said. But uh, no, you're going to be seeing more of this sled. Next summer I'm going to be getting a GoPro. Probably Hero 4. And I'm going to do some riding with this thing. I'll do some trail riding videos. And I'll do some riding around our house. Because we just bought 35 acres behind our house. We have some trails through there now. So I'll do some riding through there. And you'll see some more videos of the Formula 380. It's still here. And you'll see some more videos of the safari. It's still here. And the citation over there. It's still there. And my snow cruiser's still there. And my bobcat's still there. It's just not at our house right now. But And if anybody's looking to buy a Formula 380. I'm asking 1600 for it. And, uh, and uh, if somebody wants to buy a CR85. I'm asking 1800 for it. To put the money towards paying back my dad with the Pro X. But uh. Just let me know in the comments or whatever if you're interested and I'm located near Bancroft and Halberton so if you're interested then let me know and uh, yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.